So we talked about before the show, interesting, the thought process, AI is going to take over companies and employees will not be needed anymore, or the, the labor force will be reduced dramatically. So where are people going to find jobs? What's your perspective, you have a unique perspective on that? I'll tell you the biggest sector that maybe got hit by AI, which is developers. Mm -hmm. Developers, when you go into ChatGPT, if you're told to build me a website, it will give you the basic structure of the website. Developers freaked out. Oh my God, what's happening? Is it going to write code all by itself? But no, it's not. If you told it, bring me a plan of a car, it will plan a car for you how to build a car, but it doesn't actually know how to build a car. It cannot build a car. It optimizes processes. It will never do a human's job. Like for example, coding perspective, I have a piece of code I used to spend maybe weeks and all the developers out there hearing, they used to spend weeks debugging stuff. It could go really for weeks. Right now, you can just copy that snippet of code and take a second opinion. And it usually is remotely close to it or close to it and it really helps optimize the time. So instead of weeks, now we have a day, is that a win? That's definitely a win. So it's really about optimizing the processes and making sure that our human resources are used efficiently and to the maximum power. If someone is doing data entry and, and an, an automation can do it, why not automate it and get that person to do something even more creative, make and use their mind even more. We don't want people to be re doing repetitive stuff. We want people to be creative because at the end of the day, even mentally, if I'm in a job and I'm doing repetitive stuff, I'm going to get stuck in the routine. I'm, people usually don't like it. 